you know, that works. That actually, that works. I'm coming back, baby. Hi guys, it's Lana here and today I am going to be doing a little experiment on my hair. You guys have seen it from the title. I'm going to find out whether the Mofajang Hair Pink Wax from Shop Ponyfly. Let's see if this works on my straightened hair. If you are a subscriber, you're my sunbeams, you light up my day, then you may have noticed that things look a little bit different and that's literally just because I'm not using another light. Like I'm going to try really hard to try and actually film in the daytime so that I can use as much natural light because these lights are super bright and I'm pretty sure they take up like a lot of energy a lot of electricity it's not good for the planet and stuff like that so I'm trying to kind of reduce how much light I use like usually there's a backlight which makes me look like really defined or something I guess anyway that's why it looks different and obviously I do normally have curly hair but you guys saw that I recently straightened it and today's gonna be the last day because I literally picked the worst time to straighten my hair like autumn hit us like a truck Kaboom! It literally rained non-stop so my hair struggled and yeah it's just frizzy and stuff like that so this is going to be the last day so on my last day of straight hair I just decided wouldn't it be a fun experiment to see if the hair pink wax works in my last video I asked you what color I should try next and don't worry I'm going to try it on curly hair too people were saying blonde and I don't really have blonde but I have gold and I have orange and somebody told me in the comments that if you mix gold and orange together it will come out to a kind of blondish color so that's what we're going to do this is what we got. This is what they look like. Oh, it's so orange. My theory is that they will go on to my hair smoothly. I don't think that they'll make my hair revert because as far as I know, they don't have much water content in them. They're more wax based. But I think that these probably do work better on curly hair because I think it is going to go a bit stiff and it's going to have a bit of hold and it's just not going to look flowy. It's just not going to give you that look that you want when you have straight hair. So now we're going to find out. And I have gold, smush it together. I think I need more gold. Can you guys see this? <gasps> oh, I dropped some already. Definitely more gold. This is very, very orange. Okay, let's go. I'm never gonna get over how bright this looks when it first goes on. This looks very strawberry blonde. Um. I have my little curve. Oh yeah. Oh, this is my hair going back to curly. This is so hard to brush through, like, but I need to because the hair's straight, so I can't get away with there being like big clumps. Like it needs to actually be even. Look at this, look what it does. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You... It's hard to brush this through on dry hair. Last time I did this on wet hair. Now I'm doing it on dry hair and it's hard. Oh, I keep getting these tangles like this. Put it on my ends because my ends have gone frizzy. Like not from the wax, but just because, you know, like the rain and everything. This situation is not ideal. I think the best I could do is try and make this look kind of sleek. We can do something sleek with this, but that's like the only thing. So if I just want to put it all back like that, you know, that works. That actually, that works. I'm coming back, baby. Do you know what this would be good? This would be good for kind of a wet look. You know that, yes, yes, a wet look. Mix it all together. Oh, that's so orange. I need more gold. Was it this orange before? Did I have more gold before? Ah, oh, always gets on my forehead. I mean, it's a big forehead. It's hard to miss, to be fair. Ha <laughs> ha Do you know what? I'm low-key living for the wet look. You guys know I love a wet look. Oh, 
it's literally gonna like mold to my head like a helmet it's so like that is the sound of a wax doll being made okay more just really want to like create this look now like just see can we actually pull something off with this that looks sleekified i need to like get better at like blending this in my hands because i'm getting like patches of orange patches of gold you see like it just ate up the frizz there's no frizz in my hair now but it does look kind of clumpy crispy we are golden golden mcdonald's fry right now french fry hair it makes it so hard to brush it though or comb it but you have to because you have to run the color through it if i just like if i just comb it down so that it's like resting then it might actually just look like it's resting it's just making my ears poke out real bad wonder you know your hair becomes so moldable when you have this so you can like you can oh okay uh, okay more let's put some more here oh, it's so hard to keep it like straight We're just not tangled up like this like how did that happen what are you doing ah! it's so sticky so so sticky now so much okay now i have to decide do i want to have it like hollywood style or wet look let's see it's just so hard to do look at my hair though why is it reverting why is it going wavy and curly stop Why is it like, why is it frizzy on one side? Please, hello. This is so patchy. Like if I went to the salon and they colored my hair and it came out looking like this, I would be pissed. I would be so upset. But the worst part is just the stickiness. Why you gotta be so sticky? I don't know what to do. I don't know how to make it look better. Okay, so I think what's happening is, I think somehow my hair is reverting a little bit. My hair's getting frizzier by the second. What? What is that? What is this? What's happening is something in this product is leading my hair to revert back to its natural state. So there must be water in this, which I didn't realize. I mean, it's just this hair color material and the ingredients are in Chinese. So I actually don't have a clue what's in this. I didn't think there was water, but apparently there is, or like even just a little bit because my hair is going back. So it's not working. <laughs> I think that if you have naturally straight hair and you don't have to worry about this problem, then I still think that this has too much hold and too much stiffness for straight hair. Like it just doesn't look right in my opinion. I mean, unless you're gonna try and do something sleek, if you could do like a sleek bun and you know, you could do pretty well with that. Like that might look okay for you. So I'm just gonna try and finish up with like a sleek bun. Like I know my parting isn't right, but seriously, I can't move my parting now. Like my hair is stuck like this until I die. I have a really sore neck because I did a bunch of abs workouts and I don't know how to do the workouts properly because it puts so much strain on my neck and she's like, don't strain your neck. And I'm like, okay, I'm trying not to strain my neck. Then my neck gets strained. I don't mind the abs itself. Like my abs, like my abs are burning now, but like that's okay. Like the worst thing is neck pain. Like neck pain is the worst so that is my hair like to be fair this gives me like a good insight this gives me an insight into what my hair would look like blonde honestly i've had blonde hair before i know a lot of you guys won't remember i mean i literally just forgot it myself but i've had hair that was very light i'll see if i can insert a picture that was about four years ago now my friend did it for me she's a hairstylist i don't really want to go back to that so i'm thinking like when i go back to curly hair i'm gonna try this color again on my curly hair and i'm gonna see how long it can last for because when i had purple hair i had to wash it out the next day so sad i know not on straight hair though i'm sorry like this doesn't work 
concentrate here. I'm sorry. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, if it's entertaining to you, if it's satisfying in any way, if it's insightful, or if you just, you know, just had a, an okay 10 minutes, then thumbs up the video, but also dislike the video if you didn't like it, because it's important for me to have good feedback. Okay, leave a comment down below with your video requests for next time. That was the Mofajang hair paint wax. I was sent these by Shop Pony Fly on Instagram. So if you guys want to check them out, go over to the Shop Pony Fly Instagram page. They will have links to where you can buy this. And also they have tons of tutorials on their page of people just using this on their curly hair, on their natural hair. And I just like their page, it's good inspiration and they have like fun hairstyles and stuff over on that page. So yeah, I'll leave that all in the description box. As always, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and get me on Instagram, I'm at Lana Summer. And I wanna say a big thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Summer, summer, summer.